Hey dudes, today we're gonna to talk about how to do a save copy in when you're using Pro Tools. The concept of save copy in is to gather all of your sounds into one package and then successfully move it from one machine to another machine, whether that's on a hard drive or through Google Drive or whatever it is. It no longer is linked to any old material. It has created new material. All right, file. Save copy in. Typically for film, we're using Wave, a sample rate of 48 and a bit depth of 24. What's vital, what you have to have to have to do is copy these audio files. That's the whole reason we're doing this tutorial right now is because we want to copy this session from this machine and then say send it to another machine. So if we're copying the audio files, we're ensuring that everything inside of our session is gonna get all grouped up, copied up, put into one folder, and then transferred to another machine. So let's just hit okay, because that's all we need to do. Let's say I'm ready for this to go to the mixing stage. So I'll say for final mix, something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop what it's doing right now is just processing all of the files that I used in this session. It's gathering them all up and it's making sure that they're going to go into one new central place. So I'll show you what I mean. All of my files that I use for sound effects, etc., are all on my working external drive. So I'm going to get really frisky here and eject this. And then I'm just going to open up the background sesh for Final Mix on my machine, meaning it's no longer linked to a hard drive or anything like that. So here we are. I've ejected my drive that has all of my sound effects and my original Pro Tools session, and everything has loaded. It plays back. It has my fades. It has all my sounds. It has if I've muted stuff. It has markers. It has everything. So it's literally just copied this session it's gathered up all of the files, and it's now transferred it to a new session. The video file did not transfer over in the save copy in, and guess what? That was correct. We don't want to associate a Pro Tools session with a video file. The video file is just a separate thing. So if you also need to send the video file, just include it in your transfer, it's all good. So when I'm getting ready to send my session, it's important that you send all of the files. So you'll see that I have my audio files, which has all of those copied files from our save copy in, the Pro Tools file itself, the .ptx, session backups, and wave cache form. So it would not be acceptable to just do this and drag into your Google Drive. All right, so what I'm gonna do instead is just take my whole folder that's called background sesh for final mix, drag and drop that into uh, Google Drive, save copy in. It's very useful, it's very safe, it's very effective, and uh, it'll get your files to where they need to go. So until next time, peace.